today I'm going to be demonstrating this engine running on hydrogen gas. And all it is is a steam engine, there's nothing too special about it. It's a very old engine which has been in my family for quite some time. And being a steam engine, all you need to do is heat the water up. And hydrogen is very good at burning very hot. So in theory, this engine will run absolutely fine on hydrogen gas. If anything, it may run too hot and melt some of the solder, which is how it's been put together. Um, so I've had this engine running already and it runs on hydrogen just fine. The only modification you need to do is the boiler, which is down here. Typically, you'd put an alcohol or coal or whatever you want to use to heat up the boiler, which is this here, to create steam. Instead, I've just ran a copper pipe in here with some holes, very primitive, but very simple. And all I have to do is turn on the gas regulator here, which is made from a HHO blowtorch and run it the gas and therefore heating the boiler up. I've literally just put this together um, out of stuff lying around in the garage. So I'm just gonna heat this up with uh, the hydrogen gas and you'll see it operating. Okay, so we've got a little bit of gas left in the bottle. So all I need to do is turn on the regulator, remove the boiler just so I can light the hydrogen gas. There we go. And that's it. So the camera might not be able to pick it up, but there is hydrogen gas flames coming out from this boiler now. Hydrogen gas burns clear, so it's very difficult to see. But every now and then you'll get some impurities in the air or impurities in the copper, which means you will be able to see the flame. This is a copper tubing, so you might occasionally see a green flame. But I'm just going to increase the flow right now. Put that in here. And wait for the boiler to heat up. Just to make the gas flow a little bit higher. There we go. So the boiler is in here. You can see the flames there. So as mentioned earlier, this is the boiler. This is our little piston engine, which is gonna be driven by the steam. So when there's enough pressure in the boiler, which is created by the hydrogen flame heat, we will be able to see the engine running. I have noticed that the boiler does warm up a lot quicker running on hydrogen, which you would expect as the hydrogen flame is a lot hotter than regular fuel. Um, so I will just crop this video down now to when the boiler is on operational temperature. So as you can hear, there's a quite an aggressive flame in there now. We aren't quite at temperature yet. It's only been about 30, 40 seconds at this point. So usually you'd wait a good minute or two for the boiler to be at operational temperature. But we will know when the steam being generated as this is only an old engine and it leaks a lot of steam. So you will see some steam leaking out of this uh, pressure valve here and out the actual engine itself. But we're nearly there. Nearly there. Let's wait for the pressure to build. not the most efficient engines and there we go so 
there it is, half of the chugging away. It's not very efficient, you see a lot of steam coming out from the, uh, the ports on the side. As the boiler gets hotter and it drapes more steam, the RPMs will increase. It's just like uh, any normal conven conventional steam engine. Operates the exactly the same way. The only difference is the fuel. I'm just going to turn down the gas flow now. So the only difference is the fuel being hydrogen gas, meaning there is no carbon emissions from the steam engine. And unlike a combustion hydrogen engine, there's very little NOx emissions, very small amount of NOx emissions because there's no um, there's no compression in high temperature from the combustion inside a cylinder, because the hydrogen gas is all from here. Turn the gas back up. So there you go hydrogen powered steam engine. So if you have an old, old steam engine lying around and you happen to have a gas, hydrogen gas supply, then you can run your engine quite happily. All you need is a different boiler. No, sorry, same boiler. Um, preferably a boiler that can operate under high temperature. But all you need is a different there you go, you can see all the contaminants, this is oil that's picking up there. Look at that, that's some speed. The gas flow valve essentially becomes my throttle. Let's see how slow we can get it to run. Uh... Oh no. More gas. There we go. Yeah, like a very slow throttle. Turn the gas off. There we go. So there you have it, hydrogen gas steam engine. It's even more environmentally friendly than a combustion engine in many ways. You could even condense the steam back into water and feed it back into the into the boiler if it was a flash it's a flash steam system who knows but there you are a generic model steam engine running on hydrogen gas i hope you all enjoyed <laughs>